Hey guys, Andy here from Let's Play All the Games, and welcome to a fun little demo for Ragnarok Odyssey with some weird left hands or whatever word you'll see in a second. Yeah, left dresser, left dr I don't fucking know. It's some German Nordic shit. Anyway, uh, this is the demo for the game, and welcome, welcome to it. A uh, quick little demo, just going to run through the entirety of it for you. This game will be coming out uh, a week from today that I recorded, actually. Uh, so it'll be uh, coming out Tuesday, June 7th. So let's give it a go, see what it's all about. Um, first things first, you got to pick your character. There's uh, five different ones to start. I don't know if these are the only five in the game. Um, let's see, so we have Gwendolyn, we have Cornelius, who I don't think I would ever pick Cornelius. Uh, we have Mercedes, who I'm not big on either. Oswald's kind of cool. Uh, Velvet is kind of cool as well. But I'm going to pick uh, Gwendolyn. She seems to be kind of the main front runner so let's give her a go uh this is very similar to dragon's crown in the way that it's kind of a action rpg um very action based in fact more action based than dragon's crown i have played through this already and i did enjoy it and that's why i want to share it with you all uh as you can see the demo is just gonna tells you exactly what it's doing so very nice of it here's your basic shit have fun keep fighting until you reach the end of the area where the boss awaits you okay i can do that so, she moves very fluid. It's a very nice sort of 2D, not quite cel-shaded style. Um, let's break some shit here. I do like that it actually pops up with how much damage you're doing. Of course, you get a lot of money, you break a lot of shit. Uh, she does this weird, like, floaty thing. She can basically fly, which surprised the hell out of me. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that's all about. Um, so, it's kind of weird how you go from place to place. That was a basic stage, now a battle stage. And, you know, this is the interesting part because... Uh, we're being attacked by little fucking teddy bears. Why? Because evil teddy bears have finally started to rule the world. That's right, folks. Carolot or Sherlot or whatever the hell it was called has finally gone Section 8 and Grumpy Bear got his way. Today is that day, but you know what? Fuck y'all, because this is how the teddy bears have their picnic, motherfucker! Yeah! Um, every stage you get a result, uh, tells you exactly how much ass you've whooped, how long it took you, and a bunch of other things. And I S-ranked that shit. Look at the badass on me. Uh, only gave me five bonus gold, but a little potion there, not sure what it is. Um, interesting thing too here. Oh, money there. Yeah, if you caught that, watch this real quick, see if you can catch it again. She's gonna look towards the screen, I don't know why. Here she will in a second. Oh, uh, come on, do it, do it, do it. She did it a second. Yeah, there it is. She just does this little quick look towards the screen sometimes. I'm not sure why. It's kind of cool and kind of creepy. Ooh, I got a bottle of Cyclone. Oh, no, I don't want the map. Sorry, I hit my special attack button. Bottle of Cyclone. You know when you walk in the liquor store and buy a bottle of Cyclone, you're on a mission, and that mission is to get drunk. If Cyclone won't do the job, it's false fucking advertising. So as you can see there, we're really just bouncing between stages in this demo to show us, oh yeah, I got it, Magic Potion Cyclone, hmm. Better be at least 48 ounces of that, though I'm hoping it's a little bit better. Also, uh, let's just go ahead and point out that these guys are chumps compared to the evil teddy bears. I can literally throw down on them and say, the teddy bears whose asses I kicked in the forest were legitimately tougher than you. Uh, of course, now we got weird-ass fairy uh, bow-slinging bitches, but that's okay. They die just like everything in front of me. Okay. So, yeah, the environments are really quite very... Oh, shit. I can go up. Well, die. No, I don't want to use my cyclone yet. I want to... Oh, I want to explore. I did miss this the first time because I hadn't quite got used to the... Um, I guess I should say uh, 3D nature in the sense that you actually have a lot of platforms up top you can go to, which I was not expecting at the time, so I wasn't used to that in the beginning. Really cool. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I was starting to say they're really showing off a lot of very different environments, which is nice. I mean, you're jumping from place to place. Now I'm in some kind of crypt, and... Yeah, 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 fuck you guys. Oh, you know what? Now let's start doing some real shit. So you have a lot of really cool move sets you can do, and honestly, you can go in and look to see what they are even in this demo. I'm just button bashing. I'm doing what kind of feels right, and it does feel good while I do that, which is nice. Except when I miss, like I did there. The fact of the matter is, once you get going on this, you feel kind of like you're hell on wheels, especially in boss battles, which you'll see here in a bit. I really appreciate that because I feel like I'm kicking ass. I mean, I know this is just a demo, but they're not starting me slow, and I mean, I suspect as well that 
I'm leveled up a bit for the demo, etc. But I don't mind. I mean, the whole point of this is it's a demo. You want to make me interested in your game, so yeah, let me kick some ass. What? Oh, actually, I'm duck there. Um, and I am. So it feels really good, and the combat feels very fluid. Um, this is very similar to Dragon's Crown. I think I mentioned that earlier. However, this is also a lot more accessible to me than Dragon's Crown in the sense that it feels more like a beat-em-up or a classic brawler the way things work, just with a really good and interesting move set, as well as a lot of interesting skills and stuff you can use. Dragon's Crown was a little more... I'm not sure how to put it. A little more soulsy in how its combat went. A little more uh, almost Dark Souls-like. Oh, hey, you know what? We decided to build our entire Greek Acropolis on the Lake of Fire, but rents are reasonable. You know, check it out. And I mean, hey, if you like not having to worry about your heating bill, we've got the place for you. Ooh, volcano. I'm gonna go vape some shit, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Kill these little lizard bitches. Uh, to be fair, I accidentally broke their eggs, but eh. You know, it was a breakable object. In my defense, this is a video game. It's a breakable object. I, I am not guilty. You know, just deal with it. So this is actually where I first found out I can fly, because wee, I can fly! I didn't even have to, like, kidnap Tinkerbell and shit to do it. Uh, I'm kind of wondering how the other characters play. I haven't really messed them around with them. Messed them up. Yes, I haven't messed around with them either. I, I don't know what I'm saying. But, um, I mean, I did notice one of them is a mage, one of them is clearly a swordsman. The other two, I kind of just, my eyes glazed over because I didn't find the character designs that interesting. Um, I will show off some uh, potions here in a second. Actually, you know what? Let's give these knights a dose of the old cyclone. So I hit triangle here. You have all of your items. I've got foods. I can eat muggles. Uh, that sounds like a strange Harry Potter... I, I don't know if that's Harry Potter porn or a Harry Potter insult. Go eat a muggle. Uh, you see where I'm going with this. Let's stop there. Um, don't send me links. Uh, you know what? Let's give you guys a little bit of that cyclone liquor. And... Okay, that didn't suck. That did not suck at all. In fact, that's just kind of clearing my way. Ooh, well, more volcano. I'll use one of those here later. I really like this area the most, this city. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Let's just show you guys this. It is nice that time stops, too. And I like her little shove the spear down on the ground animation while she's picking one up. So, it also, if you look at the bottom, gives you a good idea of what it does. So, very accessible in this regard in terms of telling you what things are. This is well thought out, and it works really well. God, I really love this vista, this city. Yeah, I would visit this place happily. I, I would visit a whole game in this place. Mid-boss! Oh, let's kick your shit in. Uh, you know what? Let's see here. I've been saving this one. Uh, Blaze. This one is a very specific one that I don't use too often because it's basically a fire geyser. The downside is... Well, the downside is I fucking missed, actually. But the other downside is it could hit me, too. So, you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. You can see he has a health bar at the bottom, but you see that tiny little purple thing above him? He has the health bar, but you have to beat that a few times to tell you how well you're doing in the boss. That said, this boss is pretty clearly my pitch. There! Yeah! I trapped you with my fire geyser. That was my plan all along. That's how we do it in Thailand. Odin Sphere, German world. We get your confidence up and then we kick your shit in, horsey dragon armor knight fuck. Uh, you're gonna make me kill your minions first. Fine. You want me to kill some minions? Here. Have some minion death. I actually want minions in real life. That's, like, my birthday's coming up soon. If anybody can arrange for me to get minions, that'd be great. Like Jawas. I, I really want like a crack team of like pissed off Jaw Oh shit, I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm getting my shit kicked in. Hold on. Health. Me up. Okay. Now let's kick some fucking. I should have taken out the minions first. Sometimes, I mean, I was so close to killing the boss, I just want to kill him. There we go. And apparently the Disney castle is in the background or something there, so let's go rescue Cinderella. Oh, but yeah, I want minions. I want like a crack team of Jawa commandos. Really just pissed off Jawa commandos. Also, I have grapes for some reason, so let's eat a grape. Let's find out. Uh, no, no, I had grapes. I really just picked up grapes. You saw grapes on there, I swear you did. I have seeds? What the... I don't know. Eh, great. Yeah, there's... The... Oh, okay, it tells me I want to win, but I have to get it all out of the treasure chest. I did not notice that. Yeah! So this is like, you know, if Disney went really fucking Dark Souls dark. 
Like, if Walt Disney was the last unkindled and, I don't know, Mickey was one of the Lords of Cinder. Oh, God. Somebody make that game. Somebody make that game. Get me minions and then make that game. You know what? Let's eat a muggle. Mmm. The muggles are tasty. Oh, and those give you experience as well. Well. Mmm. Mmm. I am experienced in the ways of eating muggles, apparently. Oh, I got a muggle seed. Cricket noise. Cricket noise. Cricket noise. Okay. <laughs> ah, apparently things went a little too well eating that muggle. So, just a little bit more coming up here as we get through really gorgeous environments. Oh, and the move stages thing, it's kind of weird because you have this 2D thing, but you move forward and backward. It's... There's a map I keep not looking at it. Here you go. This is just a map of the demo, but it tells you a lot of things. It tells you, oh, here's a battle area. Here's how tough that battle area is. Oh, there's treasure here. Oh, there's treasure here. Oh, you already own that. So, you know, kind of nice. Yeah, let's kick that off. Uh, so, yeah, a little climbing here. A little snowy area. Oh, time to kill snowmen. This is for Calvin and possibly Hobbs. Calvin and Hobbs, still the best comic ever. I saw this stupid-ass article on Facebook, you know the kind of articles where like, why you love what you love, or 10 things only, you know, people like you will love, or let's validate the shit out of your existence with a BuzzFeed-worthy title and make you click on it. Anyway, and it was like, why you love Calvin and Hobbes even to this day, and I'm like, I love it because I love it. It's fucking Calvin and Hobbes. I don't need an answer. It it's okay. I've always loved it. I don't need to explore why. Also, this is my rest area, so... Ooh, god damn, I did not notice him the first time. Uh, that is one fucked dragon, or what's left of him. Yeah, that's, uh, apparently dragon skeletons big enough to build a house out of. String some tarps over that. As long as you don't mind being in a misty-ass, possibly poison swamp foggy cave, you're good. You know, the, the dragon bones add a certain amount of ambience, and apparently this is just where fucking dragons go to die, Jesus. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna break crystals and stop getting deep on life. Oh, yeah, that little slide attack. I don't use it much. It's actually more good for repositioning than anything else. You really have a lot of moves. I just haven't been using them. Um, you hear... Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah, it's L1, sorry. Um, and it shows you, like, a lot of your stuff, how good you're doing. Um, you can see the shortcut, like, all my different things I could be doing there. This is really accessible. I, I like. I really approve of this. And to me, demos are the best thing to show off your game, especially in this era. I have poison if you want. Unfortunately, I do not have a blade to coat it with. Also, I'm kind of a skeleton with a form-fitting coat dress thing. I'm not shady at all. Actually, I do know which one I want to buy, though. I've got most of these, but... Ooh, toxin? Nah, fuck it. I don't need no Britney Spears. I need overload. I want to increase my damage output. But demos are, to me, the best way to uh, show off your game. And I mean, that sounds obvious, but in this era of all these indie games, and you've heard me rant about this on the channel before, well, not rant so much as uh, express my viewpoint, with all these indie games that really, at first glance, look the same, boss battle time, get ready, no, what better way to stand out than say, here, here's a free portion of my game, play it, try it, see if you like it. This is doing it incredibly well, which I'll talk about towards the end, because again, I'm kicking ass. And they're showing me all these different environments, and ooh, little boss fight action. I like how just for a second there, he had this, like, claymation thing happening. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Hey, time out, buddy. Um, nope, not time to eat a muddle. Muggle. Muddle. Eh. Muddling. Uh, let's see. Overload. 25% damage upgrade. Don't mind if I do. Wreck me, boss. Wreck me. I don't, don't throw fucking balls of armor at me, you shit. Eh, well, actually, that kind of... I missed him, but it kind of worked, because I was able to stay up there. Like, I'm doing just boatloads of damage, and that's what I love. Just... No! Stop! Get the... Get the hell off... Oh! I can throw your armor back at you! Oh, look at that. Oh, and you're dizzy. That means... Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's blaze one, yo! Yeah. Let's break your fucking armor. The fact that he's basically spitting armor at me is a uh, interesting boss convention. Still, I'm moving right along. You know what? Let's give him... What do you think, guys? Should I give him some of that cyclone liquor or volcano? Oh, let's give him both. Well, let's let's not see how we did. Um, oh. He bitched out. Oop. Some toxin there. 
You can also see, I don't know if you noticed up there at the top where enemies are, which is a really nice thing for planning ahead. And of course, since this boss kind of rushes you, as well as... Oh, get the... Well, like I said, he kind of just rushes you. Stop that! Stop that, you piece of shit! Trying to talk to people about how I'm wrecking your shit. Stop trying to wreck my shit in return. Allow my shit wrecking to be the thrust of the commentary, also the thrust of my spear into your beastly fucking dragon claymation gullet. He does have a little bit of a claymation move style to him, which I appreciate. I mean, I there we go, he's dead. Lots of XP for that. So yeah, I, I grew up, uh, I did watch Clash of the Titans, some of those monster movies, so always enjoyable. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for giving me this demo, Atlas and Sega. Yeah, this is Sega, by the way. Available June 7th. Check out the demo, it's on PS4, I'm assuming you can get it on, uh, likely, I would imagine, Steam and Xbox One, unless, well, never mind, this might be exclusive, this might be only a PlayStation exclusive, I did not do my homework on that, let's plan on it being exclusive, get it on the PS4, it's coming on the PS3 as well, you might be able to get it there, um, yeah, now think about it, I bet it is exclusive, so, demos, great, throw me more demos, I will happily play them, because that's the best way to fall in love with games. Um, I'm gonna be picking this up. I actually had it reserved anyway, but now I'm like really excited I have it reserved. Art style is really cool. It's, like I said, kind of like Dragon's Crown, but much more accessible. Very, very fluid, good feel to the action. Feels like a beat-em-up with all these RPG elements. Check it out for yourself. It's free. It's not even that big of a footprint. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, as we fade out on a nice little force scene to press any button, I'm gonna repeat myself one last time. Check it out. If you do, let me know what you think of the comments. And that's going to about do it for me, so till next time, see you Space Cowboys.